Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I promised you this a while ago, but <laughs> for today's video, I'm going to be doing some live swatches and a review on the new-ish Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick Collection. So if you're interested in seeing the colors that I picked out, then just keep watching. A few weeks ago, Natasha Denona came out with a whole lipstick line of 18 shades called the I Need a Nude Collection. The basis behind this collection is that there are four different undertones and the undertones are made for different skin tones. So these 18 shades are designed to flatter each and every skin tone from fair to deep in different undertones. I've seen the range in person. It is a really beautiful range of so many different types of nudes with different undertones. So the four undertones that there are are beige, neutral beige, neutral pink, and pink. You will know the undertones based on the name. So before the actual name of the lipstick, it will have a letter like B for beige and P for neutral pink and B for neutral beige. So what I really like about these lipsticks as well is that on the website, it specifies what undertone is best for what skin tones. Of course, you can do whatever you want, but just for example, the beige suits neutral, warm, and red skin tones. The neutral beige suits all skin tones. The neutral pink suits all skin tones as well. And then the pinks suits warm and yellow skin tones. I actually didn't pick up any of the pink undertone colors. I, I just am not attracted to them, I guess. I don't know what happened. But the reason this video took me so long is because originally I had picked up four just to try out the formula and I was going to do a review on that, but I decided that I loved the formula so much that I ended up waiting because I was going to pick up more. So now I have eight shades to show you guys. So I did wait so that I could give you some live swatches on my face because I'm going to be honest, I feel like the swatches online do not even represent what the colors actually are. I kind of blindly pick the colors out, so don't go off the swatches online. I would say definitely look up YouTube swatch videos because that's where you're going to get the most accurate representation of the color that you are getting. So some more details about this lipstick line is that they are $25 each, which is quite hefty of a price, I will admit, but these lipsticks are made in Italy, and you guys, the best of the best lipsticks are made in Italy. Pat McGrath, Tom Ford, Hourglass. When I saw that these were made in Italy, my expectations were set very, very high and I was not disappointed. This is a creamy formula, so there's no matte finish. It isn't drying at all. And I mean, they're relatively long wearing. Of course, they are creamy, so just be aware. They're not gonna last as long as, say, a matte lip color, but with a lip liner, that's going to help. But what I love most about this line is that it is a gorgeous range of colors. I love every single color that I've picked up and the quality is so creamy which is my favorite type of lipstick formula. And it's just a good collection, I can't lie. Natasha did it. I've actually never tried Natasha Denona lipstick formulas and I'm so happy that I did because these are amazing. And just so you know about the packaging, they are pretty sleek. Uh, they're just a bullet lipstick in a rectangular case. It's all white, pretty simple, and it has a magnetic closure just like that. So really nice simple packaging it feels not luxurious but it definitely feels well made and yeah i mean i just really like these lipsticks they're super hydrating super easy to apply i bought a bunch for a reason because they are so good and also something to keep in mind they are quite soft and creamy so just be careful because i made a rookie mistake and swatched one of the lipsticks while it was twisted up and it broke and I'm heartbroken over it right now, but it was my own mistake. But anyways, I just wanna get into some live swatches for you guys so you can see this line. All right, so the first color that we're gonna go over is Charlotte. This is from the beige family and it's described as a light beige. Now, look at this. When you put it on, it's quite scary looking. It almost has like a yellow undertone to it, so it can make you look sick and very sallow, but with a lip liner, it looks fantastic. So this color needs kind of a more brown-based lip liner, so I'm going to throw one on. This is the Esam Nude Lip Liner. So I applied it a little bit messily, but as you can see, this goes very well with a brown lip liner, but of course, this is not going to look very good on its own. The next shade that we have to try is Natasha. This is described as a light neutral coral, and it's in the neutral beige family. I'm not getting too much coral vibes from this, but it is definitely one of my favorites. So I actually broke this one. I don't want to talk about it, but so I have to lightly like tap it. 
Isn't this so pretty? This is my go-to nude now for really, really smoky eyes. And I'm going to take the lighter side of the Esom nude pencil just so you can see how it looks with a little bit of definition. As you can see, this color is amazing. It's definitely my favorite of the nude. So the next shade that we have is, it's either Liron or Lyron. This is described as a light peachy nude and it is in the beige family. So this one definitely is more peachy. I definitely don't like this one as much as Natasha but it is still a really pretty super light peach nude. So the next shade that we have is Michelle. This is a light neutral beige. This one is in the neutral beige family. So this one reminds me of Natasha but it is a touch more warm. I think it's a little bit more flattering for my personal skin tone. I think all this needs is a slightly darker lip liner and this color is perfect. So this is another one of my favorite nudes. So I definitely recommend Michelle. This is another one of those great smoky eye kind of lip colors. So. so for the next color, we have Beatrice. So Beatrice is described as a light warm rose and it is in the neutral pink family. Super light nude pink. This is definitely going to go great with a lot of my cooler toned looks. A lip liner that's going to complement this well is the little one from ColourPop. It's a little bit too nude for what I have going on right now but there definitely is going to be some awesome looks that this lipstick is going to be perfect for. So the next shade that we have here is Yana. Yana is an antique rose. This particular color is from the neutral pink family as well. So I would describe this color more as like a dusty mauve kind of rose shade. As you can see it does pull slightly gray. I like this shade because now we're getting into the families where I don't need as much lip liner. Like it doesn't make me look really dead. This is going to be really pretty with some cooler toned neutral mauve kind of looks and this color is also quite unique in my collection so I really do like Yana. So the next shade that we have here is Claudia. Claudia is in the neutral beige family and it is described as a medium warm rose. This is another shade that's not as scary without a lip liner. I definitely think a lip liner would do this one really well though. This is a great everyday color. I think a lot of you are going to like Claudia. I can see me throwing this on with a really pretty everyday eye. So I really like Claudia as well. Well, I mean, I like all of them, but this one is just very everyday friendly for me. The next shade that we have is Noah right here. Now, Noah is described as a taupe shade, and it is in the neutral pink family. You guys seem to love this. I've worn this in a couple videos, and you keep asking me what I'm wearing. It's Noah. This really is the perfect taupe color in my opinion. I know I have a little bit of pink around my lips from swatching and removing, but I love this color. It's one of my go-tos for like blue looks, gray looks, things like that. It really is a perfect taupe, but still very nude and light on the lips. I think a lot of you are going to like this color. And with a brown lip pencil, the Esum Nude Lip Pencil, this is absolutely stunning. I've used this a ton already for different looks that I've done. So this is definitely one of my favorites. The last shade that I have here to swatch is Sammy. So Sammy is the darkest color that I own from the collection. There are darker colors. This is described as a medium warm beige, and it is from the beige family. So this this is going to be the perfect nude on a lot of medium skin tones. I mean, for me, with the look that I'm wearing, I'm really feeling it with just this whole nude vibe that I have going on. This is all of them, if you can't tell, I really, really love them all for different purposes, but I just really like this one because it's nude, but it also adds like depth to my face. Really, really pretty. But I think if you have a medium skin tone, this is where it's at. You're going to love this. So that's the last one I have to swatch for you. So I will be right back in. All right, so I'm back. So what's on my lips right now is I did use Sammy, that darkest color, but I doctored it a lot and I used the dark brown from the Esom Nude Lip Pencil and then the Bobbi Brown East Coast Slay lip color on top to add some shine. So these lipsticks work very well with other products as you can see. So you can wear a lot of them alone, but I know for me, I prefer to layer and add some dimension with lip liners and gloss and all of that good stuff. You can also layer them on top of each other. They're very creamy me they work very well together but yeah that's why I have this whole nude vibe going on so overall I would say my favorite colors in the collection are Natasha which is that nude that just goes with everything the one that I broke but I just can see myself using it with so many different looks and it just looks really nice uh, the other color
color that I am loving right now is Noah, which is that taupe color that you guys also seem to love. I just love cool colors like those. I actually don't really wear those out that often, but I find a lot that I use them a ton with looks. They just go with so many looks. But definitely Natasha and Noah. I really like Sammy for the fall, the color that I'm wearing right now. I just feel like it builds so well for a deep lip. Claudia's gray. I mean, I like all of them, honestly. Such a wonderful collection. So if you've been looking into nude collections, there is a very nice range in here from pinks to beiges to taupes to super dark browns. So definitely go check it out. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know your thoughts below. What were your favorite colors? And if you did pick any of them up, let me know your skin tone down below and how you felt about the colors that you chose. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.